Welcome to News of the South. Today I'm talking to Zimbabwean film producer and actor Daniel Robson Nara. Daniel, today we will be talking about your movie, It Takes Two. So, how long did it take to produce this movie? Well, it took me about three months. That's um, mainly filming and then post production, and then here we are. So, from I would say it's, it's taken me almost half of, half, of, half of a year to be, to be precise. Also. Daniel, you also acted in this movie. How long have you been acting? I've been in this industry for quite a long time. I would say 20, almost 15 years now. And what sort of challenges did you f uh, face in terms of producing the movie? Um, well, I was quite lucky, I must say. I didn't really face a lot of challenges because I... I managed to literally f uh, fund my movie with my own money and get everything together uh, without much stress. But um, yeah, you must understand it's always a challenge for us independent film producers. We always struggle to get funding. Okay, talking of the financial side, uh, what was the budget for the movie? Uh, well, I cannot disclose the actual figure, <laughs> but uh, I will try to give you an idea to understand what was involved in the movie making. So you, you can have your own estimate just for my uh, corporate sponsors and everyone out there. I don't want to be too much speaking on the figures. So basically, um, shooting London and Lagos, obviously you can imagine there's a lot of involvement there from locations to logistics to casting. Um, yeah, so it was quite, quite very challenging in terms of the, the budget it was quite a lot of, a bit of, quite a lot of money. I'm talking about myself as a as a as an independent film producer. Uh, it's, it's quite a lot of money to to travel across two continents to try to do a movie, self funding, um, and to use uh, some of the main uh, A-list actors which I had to use in this movie. Um, yeah, so yeah, it was quite quite a, quite a lot of budget. So I believe you are a Zimbabwean. Um, can you tell us about your choice of location, London and Lagos? Well, I think for myself, being somebody who has lived in this country, in the UK, for quite a long time, I think I found myself very, very diverse person in terms of uh, being African. So when I was looking at Africa in particular, I realized that Nigeria had uh, a higher number of um, population, which means more higher consumption, uh, demand of products, services. So I looked at it as a, as, as, a, as, as a potential market for me, for, for a business. Uh, you must understand that as business, we always have to look at realistic uh, factors, not necessarily that uh, I just want to do it for the sake of doing it in Zimbabwe. Of course, Zimbabwe is my own country, very proud of it and very supportive of the industry that side. I've got, I've got a lot of uh, projects lined up for Zimbabwe and uh, currently, uh, for those who know me, I, I was in Zimbabwe a few years ago and I did a movie called um, um, cut in between, which I shoot between South Africa and Zimbabwe. So I still have a lot of projects there to do in Zimbabwe, but this one in particular, uh, being somebody who has been working in the uh, British mainstream film industry, for those who have watched me, they probably have seen me on places like um, uh, the Judge Reiner, uh, places like uh, uh, like um, the CBS channel, uh, where I was doing um, the McIntyre Meta Files, I was acting as a British, British secret policeman. Uh, that was a very, very, very uh, challenging role, and uh, which really boosted my confidence. Uh, I also did a few other projects, such as um, uh, Leather Beast, which I worked with Oris Uhuru, one of the most uh, well-known uh, actors as well in the mainstream. I also worked with people like um, uh, um, uh, what is it? Uh, Ali. Uh, what's called? Is it Ali? Ali. Um, yeah, Ali. Actually, I forgot his full name basically, but yeah. Those who know those who know, those who know me on my social media, they know he's always around me. He's a very good friend of mine. He's been in Star Wars and a few other movies. Um, yeah. So, in so, terms of support, how much support did you get from your fellow Zimbabweans? Uh, well, I, I I can say I really didn't get much support. I wasn't expecting much because I understand that. Uh, I'm not very uh, well known as, as, a, as a few producer in Zimbabwe, so they wouldn't really know much about me. But I'm sure people would really love to support me if they know that I, I, I exist and I've got a passion about working with the Zimbabweans. In, I mean, 
bring up the our industry to the level where we it can be also competitive. Uh, but yeah, I've got a few colleagues who are Zimbabweans who have been very supportive, in, in fact, and uh, yeah, this is quite very interesting for that. So. And who are some of the A-list actors from Nigeria? Okay, we've got a very well-known um, um, actress who is called uh, Mary Mary Lazarus. Those who check uh, her on social media, they can see she's quite trending. She's doing very well. She's probably one of the most, uh, I would say, in the top 10 Nigerian actresses. She must qualify. If she's not there, she must be added there because she's a shining star. She's, she's an A-list. Yeah. We also had the Bali, uh, uh, he was, who was from uh, Nigeria, Big Brother, who came number, number 10. He's in my movie. He's a very good colleague. I've enjoyed working with Bali. If Bali would listen to this, I mean, if Bali would watch this, this interview, I, I would say to you, man, you're a great guy and I can't wait to work with you again on our next movie. And I would say Kalista. Kalista is an amazing girl. Uh, she, I mean, you can see uh, these people mentioning their names. They are on the flyers. If you check our material, you will see Mary Lazarus. You will see Kalista. You will see myself. Uh, Bali is on our event launch um, flyer as well. Bali, you will see his name. So you're going to check them on social media, follow them, talk to them. They are very nice people. And uh, yeah, this, it was a great experience, I should say, working with them. Okay, so it takes to the movie. You produced it over three months, you said? Yeah. Okay, um, what's coming next and how big is this movie going to be? Well, it takes to right now, we are, we, I cannot disclose a lot of, of, of information about it takes to where it's going, but obviously we are trying to, to target the highest mainstream platforms available globally. So we are in that sort of uh, transition with, with like negotiations, trying to close a deal. Uh, we will not disclose much as yet. If anything happens, those who, who follow my social media, they will see that information. But uh, I must say, uh, it's, it's a great movie. I've made it with passion. I loved it. Uh, working with the crew, actors, the whole, the whole uh, experience has been amazing. So I think to me, this movie might be one of the best movies I've ever done. Uh, one of the best ones, I'd say. And uh, for what's coming up, there's a lot, there's a lot, there's a hell of a lot of what's coming up. I just hope the best thing is, if anyone wants to know more about what's coming up, is, is to check my, my, my social media page, Star Galax Media. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, on Instagram. Uh, you can check a lot about uh, what's coming up. So let's talk about the movie and the role you played. What the movie is all about and... Well, well, that's interesting indeed. Okay. So the movie, It Takes Two, gives out a lot, isn't it? Because it's, it takes two, for, for sure it does take two. So we're talking about It Takes Two to Tango. You always know this is a, it's, it's always a very common norm in, in, in our modern society that people, they always say It Takes Two because the third one is probably the... <laughs> the one who is spiteful or whatever the case but uh, well so what happened is this um we're talking about a uh, a, a gentleman who is uh, in diaspora who is trying to trace back his roots and he fall in love with his motherland and uh, obviously there's a way where there's they say where there's a a success a main success there's, there's a woman behind it there is a lady who, who is obviously behind this guy uh, and um, we realized that um, they fall in love uh, and deeply in love and um, the third person obviously gets involved uh, in their relationship and things goes messy but the good news is that uh, the guy managed to uh, obviously bounce back and the rest is history and he moves on and uh, the story ends with a good ending and I think it was shot in a good suspense and I think you guys the best way I can tell you is watch it Watch it on the 20th of October, 8 p.m. GMT London. We will be doing a live um, YouTube streaming of it. So join us. Why not? If you can't find it, get in touch with me on my social media or get in touch with the News of the South and you'll get more information. Thank you so much, Daniel, Robson, and Clara for speaking to us at News of the South. My name is Princess Eugene Majuru. Any special message to your fans and those who are waiting patiently to watch this movie? All I say is, guys, try to join us on the 18th of, uh, sorry, on the 20th of October, 8 p.m. London GMT time. We'll be doing a live streaming on YouTube. Uh, this will be the live uh, launch. 
of the movie. So please join us and please support us. We need you. We need to build the industry. Africa is one. I've made my movie not just for, for, for myself. I've made this for everybody. I'm so passionate about Africa and I think it's, it's about high time we, make, we all work together on this, um, I mean, to, to uplift our industry as Africans. Yes. Thank you so much, Daniel. We will be waiting and the countdown is on to the 20th of October.